Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can properly present a PowerPoint presentation in Zoom video conferencing. Now you might be thinking to yourself, it's really not that hard to present a PowerPoint presentation in Zoom, but all too often I see people present PowerPoints and it looks like this. When you looked at that clip, there is a lot of PowerPoint Chrome. You have the ribbon on the top, you have the slide sorter on the side. Anytime there's some content outside of your slides, it detracts people from the message that you're trying to deliver and land with your audience. I'm gonna show you four different techniques how you can present your PowerPoint in an effective way. Each one has its own pros, each one has its cons. I'll walk through what those are. Additionally, I also wanna show what it looks like from the present point of view and then what it looks like from the attendee point of view and lastly as a note I'm going to show you how this works on a single screen or single monitor if you have multiple monitors there are additional ways you could present a PowerPoint presentation but today I'm just going to focus on a single monitor all right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and get started? Here I am on my desktop and I am in a Zoom meeting. I'm the presenter and I have one attendee, so this way you'll be able to see what both the presenter and the attendee see. So within the Zoom meeting, I wanna share a PowerPoint presentation and what I wanna do first is let's click on this big icon that says share screen. I could also click on the shortcut key Alt S to launch it as well. When I click on it, I get the share screen dialog to pop up and the one that's highlighted by default is screen. We're gonna start with that. This is probably the most intuitive way to share a PowerPoint presentation. The benefit of this approach is if you wanna share a PowerPoint presentation and let's say you wanna to jump to other types of content, so maybe you wanna go through a few slides, then maybe you wanna show a YouTube video on something, hopefully a video for my channel, you can very easily jump between different applications, a browser window, your PowerPoint. So that's the benefit of sharing your whole screen. The downside though is when you share your whole screen, you truly are sharing your whole screen. So if you're presenting and maybe you wanna multitask or get a quick email out, everyone who's watching you share your screen will be able to see you multitasking and then they'll question why you're not entirely focused on your presentation. A few other options that I wanna call out is you have the ability to share your computer sound. So let's say you have any sounds integrated into your PowerPoint presentation, you'll wanna make sure you check this checkbox and let's say you have a video clip integrated in your presentation. In that case, you wanna check this box. But in my case, my presentation doesn't have either of those. so. I'm not gonna check either of those boxes. Okay, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna share the entire screen. Here you see my desktop being shared. I'll quickly show you what the attendee view looks like. Here you can see the attendee view. They also see the full screen. Okay, back on the presenter's view, what I wanna do is I wanna launch PowerPoint. So I'm gonna jump over, I already have PowerPoint open, and I'll jump into PowerPoint. Here you see my beautifully designed template slides that I have here. And one of the problems now is you could present your PowerPoint just like this. I could jump through my slides, but if we look over at the attendee view, you'll see that the ribbon is on top here with all the different controls and you see the slide sorter on the left-hand side. Once again, this detracts from your content. You'd rather have people focus on your slides and not focus on the Chrome of PowerPoint. So you could make it one better, you know, here if I click on the collapse ribbon option, I could hide the ribbon, I could also drag the slide sorter over, and that makes it a little cleaner, but I'm gonna show you how you could present in an even better way. And so what you likely wanna do is if you click on slideshow, you could start the slideshow from the beginning, as I hover over, you also see that the shortcut key is F5 or function five, or down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I could also click on the start slideshow icon. So let's go ahead, let's start the slideshow. Now I'm in the slideshow, and if you look over in the attendee view, you see that it's a very clean way of presenting the PowerPoint. There's no Chrome, there's no slide sorter. The audience only sees the slide. And like I mentioned before, one of the benefits is if I wanna jump between content types, so maybe I jump to my YouTube, channel to show a quick video, the attendee very quickly sees that change so I don't have to go and fumble around trying to get the other content type up. And here I'll jump back into my presentation. Now the one downside of this approach is, let's say I wanna multitask. So here I'm gonna open up my email and maybe I go through, I respond to an email 
hour or two. But here, if I look at my attendee view, you see that they can see my email. That's not so professional if I'm trying to present something and they're also seeing that maybe I'm not fully uh, paying attention to my presentation or maybe someone else is presenting and I've already heard that part of the presentation a lot. I don't want the audience to see that. Although I have it set to share entire screen or my full screen, it only people can only see things outside of Zoom. So if I hover over the Zoom bar here, if you look at the attendee view, you don't see me hovering over this bar on top. If I click on more and I open up the chat and then I wanna chat with people, once again, if we look at the attendee view, you don't see the chat there. So the one nice thing is you are sharing your full screen for everything outside of Zoom. So any of the Zoom controls are hidden to your attendees. This is the first technique to share your presentation. It has its own pros and cons. Now I wanna show you two other techniques you could use to share a presentation that allow you to multitask but still ensure that your audience has a very positive experience. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna stop sharing the screen here and now what I wanna do is let me click on share screen again and this time instead of sharing my entire screen, I'm simply going to share a window and I'm gonna select the PowerPoint window and now let's click on share. So now what it's doing is it's only sharing the PowerPoint window. So in this case, let's say, you know, someone else takes over and they're presenting on the, let's say the second slide and the timeline. I've heard this before and so I'm not going to pay attention. I can now jump into my inbox and you'll see the attendee does not see this. So they are only seeing what's in my PowerPoint window. Now here with the window here too, what I could do is I could go into full screen mode uh, from an attendee's perspective. This is the cleanest way of presenting and once again, I could still multitask and none of my attendees will see that. I'm gonna exit out of full screen mode. One other thing I can do to make it even easier to multitask while I'm presenting, if I go up onto the top bar here, I'm gonna click into slideshow and then you'll see an option under the setup called setup slideshow. If I click into that, by default when I present a presentation, it goes into full screen mode. I also have the option to present in window mode. Let me show you what that means. I'm gonna turn it on to window mode. Now when I click on present, it's in a window so here I could pull the window over and so it makes multitasking even easier if you look over at the attendees point of view it's also a very clean presentation the, the one downside is I do have the title bar on top and I do have some presentation controls up here at the bottom but overall it's a pretty clean way of presenting and back here in the presenter view you see I have my desktop so let's say that you know maybe I want to open up my email side by side with my presentation I can do this and it doesn't interfere at all with what my attendees are seeing. I'm gonna go ahead, let's stop sharing here and I'm gonna go back into Zoom and I wanna show you the fourth way that you can present a PowerPoint presentation. So once again, we're gonna click on the share screen icon and we started off with a basic. Now we're gonna jump into the file view and let's say you have a PowerPoint presentation stored in Drive or Box or Dropbox or OneDrive. I could click into OneDrive, click on share. Here, once I'm in OneDrive, what I could do, I'm gonna go down and select this presentation. Here, I need to indicate who can access this link. I'm just gonna say anyone uh, with the link can access it and now I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. What this does is Zoom will now share my browser window that has the PowerPoint file open. Now this is just the same as sharing a window, although in this case it's sharing my browser window. I could put it into presentation mode and my audience will see it full screen. And here too, just like the other technique, I could open up my email or I could multitask and none of my attendees will see that. So this is also a nice clean way of presenting a PowerPoint. Uh, this is leveraging PowerPoint on the web. So it depends on whether you have a preference for the desktop app or the web app, but this is one more way to present a PowerPoint presentation through Zoom. All right, well that was a quick tutorial showing you how you can properly present a PowerPoint presentation in Zoom video conferencing. If this video showed you how you could present PowerPoint in Zoom, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.